Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and man, am I excited for this game. I have waited so damn long for this to come out on PC. I'm going to let you know, I've been waiting so damn long for it to come out for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I have no idea why it took him so damn long to do this, but this is about Horizon Zero Dawn. So we're going to get into this, we're going to play this game, we're going to put in top resolutions, we're going to see how this thing is, and we're going to put it into play and dissect it, and we'll see if it's good and worth every cent. I was waiting for this game a very, very long time. I'm glad you guys requested me to do this. I do wish that it was on the Nintendo Switch. Unfortunately, right now it's on the PC. We're going to play it on max settings, and we're going to give it hell. Let's get right to it. Okay guys, so we're getting into this. So I got to say I played I played it a bit. Um and uh I played through the beginning. I'm not really a fan of the training sequences. So let me first show you what they got here. So story mode uh and we're going to put it on 4K. Uh you can see right here, graphics right here, everything pretty awesome. Uh so right here we're going to go right into that. Uh I didn't want to bore you through the endless, it felt like, uh, training mode. That really did away for me. I was about to like trash this game. And then after the, uh, and, and that's just me, cause I don't like training uh, that extensively and all of that. But then once I started playing this game, I can't tell you how much I liked it. Uh, so right now we're gonna, you know, we're gonna go into this. I'm gonna show you guys how it is. Loading time is not that taxing, as you see. Now again, this is gonna vary from, uh, you know, from computer to computer, from system to system. So right here, you could see <laughs> she's gonna go through here so you're gonna see here uh, so what's cool is she has this sphere you could make you could you know change everything and let me just show you this so skills inventory you can collect stuff and build things out of it like crafting your own uh, weapons like for example ammo here um, let me just see you, know, you could do fire arrows here but we got some of these here so I got this ready to go, and uh, you know, you just take materials and you basically make your own stuff, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Here we go. There you go. We're gonna just do this, see if anything happens there. And now we're gonna do uh, some ammos here. Oh, here. So see, until you fill up to 20. Now that's why it's important to gather up as much as you can. You see like these things right here. You gather them and uh, you can build stuff with them and all kinds of stuff. So you duck, you roll. Kind of feels like the Shadow of Mordor versus, um, you know, God of War. So that's pretty interesting actually. You get like all the weather and all of that stuff that, you know, is what it is. Let me see if I can find any more of these freaks. Show you uh, the enemies and stuff. It's pretty cool. Like you, you basically. Oh, these are like. So let me just get out of here. And you see, like right there, just like in Doom Eternal, so you don't get lost. They have these, this like line over there that you can kind of line it up and know exactly where you're going. So you don't get lost, which is pretty cool. And it's kind of weird, though. Um, the one thing I've noticed about this game, uh, even though everything looks absolutely stunning here, as you can see, um, <laughs> it's oh, what's this? Okay. What happens is, if you can see. I don't like the fact that they say where you have to hold down the Joy-Con um, in order to, you know, in order to, to move fast to run, uh, like they do on the Nintendo Switch, which destroys the joystick. The same exact thing goes with the Xbox 360 controller that I love on my uh, computer. Um, it does the same thing. As you can see, it's flickering now, which is really annoying. I don't know why they do this. It's just, it couldn't be more annoying, and you could see, like... It's just not right. <laughs> the 
but the physics in this game looks absolutely stunning. The only thing I don't like about it is, um, and you're going to see like stealth swimming they have and all kinds of stuff like that. The only thing I don't like about it is I find it too slow. Now, what do I mean by that? Like in Shadows of Mordor, which this game looks almost exactly, it, fe it has the same kind of feel almost exactly like that, except I would say without the combos, uh, maybe that's going to change. I don't know. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, watch this. So, at least, you know, when people were complaining why it was too slow there, and the next follow-up game, what did they do, if you guys remember? So here, this is how you kind of scan for weaknesses. Oh, God, hold on. So here, you're ducking in here. Uh, I don't know why I can't scan them right now, but maybe because I Uh, so they made a fast feature on that, which was awesome, you know, where, you know, he gathers up his powers or whatever, and then suddenly, look at this, right on his... Gotcha. How cool is that, huh? So it's good to be very stealthy in this game, that's what I like, because then you could take down more enemies instead of just running and doing it. I like to run and do it, actually, too. So you see right there, that's the scan mode, so you know right there that's their weakness. So right there, we're gonna... See what I mean? It's kind of stupid that you can't run. I mean, even if I was... Even if I was in a in an issue like that, I mean... <laughs> I would still be able to run if my eyes were like, you know, messed up. Oh, look at that. Oh, here we go. Let me see if I can kill him with the spear. There you go. Oh, wow, that was nice. That felt good, too. everything. Take it off! There you go, blindfolded and got him. Oh no. Totally whipped me. So it's cool that you can actually, um, and you know, you pick up the parts and, you know, it, this thing is like all about scavenging, stealth mode. You don't really have to be stealthy as I showed you right now. But you will be able to take out more if you are stealthy. Makes any sense. Pretty cool. But you see, like, this is running. I mean, it's very slow. I don't know why they they couldn't make this thing go quicker. I don't know. Again, this is just probably just me. So you see I have too much of that. Let me see. Ooh, they got a hog over here. Let me see if that makes any any difference here. Oh. Cool. All of a sudden I'm being transported to Age of Empire. There you go, and I got some meat. Boar's meat. Wild boar. Right there, this is how you save the game, basically. So you basically go into these uh, modes here. And uh, that's the weapon wheel right here. Uh, but right here, you could do a quick save, which is cool. You light it up. Right there. Oops. Did it twice. And you're basically saving the game from there. But this game you can't really get lost in. But you start off as this little girl. And you're just following your dad doing training for... I don't know. It just felt so long. I, di I didn't want to put that on for you to torture you guys with it. If you're like me, I I just like skipping the, you know, that whole session altogether. I don't know why they keep doing this. I mean, we get it. Yeah, we got the weapon wheel. We got it already. Yeah. I mean, what do you want? A, a cookie? I mean... Uh, I don't understand why this thing has to keep appearing there. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's like I wish there was a cancel button to that and I could just be like, Alright, we're done. And just like Mordor, everything's a million miles away and, you know, 
you're gonna have to oh what is this here we go and you're gonna have you know this is your running right here <laughs> it's gonna be a long time till you're gonna reach camp I mean it's kind of annoying it's like she's running in place it feels like I don't know what's going on I just wish that they had, like, faster, I guess. I, I don't know. And this weapon wheel thing, I mean, this thing could not be more annoying. I, I went through the weapon wheel. We get it. Yes. Yes, yes. It's great. Yeah, okay. Now can you just get rid of that damn thing? Let's just... Oh, hold on here. Let's see if I can do something here. Oh, hold A. Okay. I don't understand what they want me to do to get rid of this. Select a quick, oh, to quick, oh, I see what they mean. Okay, I see, I see, I see. But I'm hitting um, the A. There you go. Oh, cool, now I got fire arrows. Okay. And it's still not letting me out. I don't understand. Uh huh? Craft pouch upgrade avail. Ah, oh, okay. So now I guess I gotta go to here. Um, let's see. Modifiers. There you go. Okay. Wait a second. Where is the? Oh, crafting. Okay, here we go. There you go. So you can make your own, uh, you know, make your own quests. There we go, fire arrows, whatever. Nice. Okay. Thank God, no rain, so now you guys can see how this is. And by the way, you guys could ride one of these things, and you're, I'm going to show you guys right now. But first, I want to see what the heck this feels like. <laughs> that, was, that was epic. That was epic, guys. That was freaking epic. Okay. I just completely bombarded this dude. this thing, huh? Oh. It's like a raptor or something. So where you going? I gotta... Where is this dude? There you go. So gather resources for Blaze. That's basically what we need to do now. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ugh. See, that's the jammed controller. That's the problem with it. It's really annoying that it's like that. I mean, there's nothing you could do about it. Let me see if there's a way to change in the settings here, the controls. Yeah, there is. Here we go. So let's do... Control mapping. Okay, here we go. So, to sprint, you gotta hit that. I mean, that's kind of lame. I would like it better if it was, let's see, weapon wheel, light melee, heavy melee. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm stuck with this. All right. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. So this is what's going to happen now. I'm willing to bet I'm going to have to learn how to ride this damn thing. So here you go. I just literally saw him. Where is he? Did he just run away? So basically, you can run. I mean, that's your only way, I think, to run is to grab one of these things and ride them. That's about it. So we're going to try to go look for one of these little freaks. And just ride the ponies. 
Now it's funny because you see like for example the rock, you could throw a rock there and uh, you know, get them uh, you know, a diversion or whatever. Just gonna see if I can. I wanna see something here one second. Let me do uh Why can't I? Oh, okay, here we go. Let's just see what happens when you set things on fire. Okay, I can't believe this, but Zelda is better than that. <laughs> that is so horrible. I mean, you got here some freaking... You're telling me you can't set this on fire? Whoa, that is lame. Oh, okay, wait. Maybe it's starting. Maybe we got... No, we got nothing. Oh, that's kind of lame. Not really realistic, to be honest with you. But here we go. Now I got at least the damn arrow. So I know where we're going. Oh, here we go. Oh, damn. Whoa! Okay, that was cool. <laughs> so I, ha I had to actually sneak up to him to ride him. But unfortunately, that didn't work out. So we're going to try to do this a little slower. Oh, they're just running. Look at that. See? That's what happens, guys, when you dare mess with a Joy-Con. Okay, I'm not going there. Oh, damn. See how unrealistic that was right now? That is like so freaking lame. They're like terrified of you for some reason. And I'd be too, to be honest. I'm not gonna really judge them or anything. Whoa, that just killed all of them. That was epic. Okay, that was epic. That was epic. I mean, you're not going to let me ride you. You're going to get... I, I, I still don't know if that's the one you ride. Because what happens is... You know, what happened... <laughs> that was hilarious, though. What ha Oh, here we go. That's the one you ride, because you see it there. Because I've seen it on, on you know... On TV when they were advertising it before, and I was like, wow, this looks pretty cool. I think I gotta cool it with that fire arrow. Um, it's not. <laughs> I'm becoming too much with that. Alright, here we go. Let me just get rid of that really quick. There you go. I feel bad for these things. I don't know where that little guy, uh, where that guy is, uh, but it was showing, and I'm willing to bet that's the one you ride. And this is the massive one, the Warthog. Ah, oh, yes. I mean, at this point, I'm not even caring much about the mission. I'm having fun here. It's like I do with the uh, Shadows of Mordor. It's a good place to release your stress. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Okay, I think I gotta see what's next. And I mean, look at this. this looks absolutely stunning. The controls are a little bit wacky, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's okay, it's just, I really wish there was a way that you could play with a with a keyboard better and a, and a mouse, because even the aim assist, I just don't like playing first person shooters on this, even though this is a third person shooter, uh, you do require aim, and because there's no aim, you know, with a joystick, it's just, it doesn't feel the same. I can't explain it, I mean, I'm just, I'm old school, you know, I like playing these games and... 
that require aim with a mouse. You know, you get the best aim from that. I don't, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. This is going to be ruined for me. I just know it. Uh-oh. Okay. So you see, that means something's coming for you. I need to really get some distance here before they start running. So that's the issue with these little things. It's the strider side. things you could just pretty much shoot and just grab them. <laughs> it's like I just don't care. Oh, but look at the look at the effects on that. It's like uh, anamorphic lens. Oh look at that. Oh that was great. You know, you grab one of those and you ride them and it's going to be faster, but again, like until you catch these, it's like going uh, with Zelda, you know, when you're playing Link uh, as Link or whatever, and you grab one of those, uh, you know, horses and you're ready to go. That That's pretty much what that is. That's going to make it faster, but even he runs faster than her. Look at this. Let me, let me just see something here. This is like... There you go. I mean, this is like her run. It's not that bad, I mean. See, I think what's the problem is this joystick's probably the issue. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, I just gotta get to that, and then we're gonna talk about this. So the storyline on this is absolutely breathtaking. I know I'm being an idiot here. Just kind of like, you know. But this is the meat and potatoes of the game. You know what I mean? This is what you're going to be doing. Took you right into the action. I think that's the best thing to do. And you see like here the up and down arrows here. So this is, you see, like I'm filling up my energy right now, and it took away from my, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. So it's, it's pretty cool that they give you that option. And I love the weather changes here a lot. Kind of feel like you're really, you could smell the grass. That's how good this grass looks here. But again, some things are unrealistic, like you can't set it on fire. Like in Zelda, that was so cool that you could actually, you know, in Breath of the Wild, you could set the entire grass on fire. That's pretty cool. You could do some traps and stuff like that. Here, it's just launch it and nothing happens. It's kind of weird, you know? Not realistic. That's what I'm that's what I'm going for here. It's not realistic at all in terms of that. But the game is fun. I, I really think this game is really awesome. Let me just pick here. So I'm just looking to see if I can find that freak. Oh here we go. Maybe I could ride this, I don't know. He's like, oh, oh. I want to see if I could grab one of these. I think that that's a skill. That's the problem. That's a skill you have to probably get to get that ride. Because I know that's what happened in Shadows of Mordor. You get that skill and you could ride pretty much anybody. And that's... I think that's what that thing is. I, love I really love this part here. Hmm. Oh. Oh, damn. He had some protector thing. <laughs> Yo. 
Yes. Yes. Bring it. Bring it. Love that. Must have rained like a million times here. What was this in, made in Seattle or London or something? I don't know. Yeah, come on, run. That's right, run. Hmm. That's right, run. I think these are gonna be the ones you ride because they're they're the only species that actually runs for me. That's gotta be it. <laughs> yeah, and you could pretty much shoot them anywhere and, and beat them. This has gotta be like... It's definitely gotta be a skill that you gotta make here. But you see, now she's running. I, I, I don't know. I guess this was the joystick issue. But it's still not fast enough, I don't know. It doesn't feel fast enough to me. Ooh, he got he got courage now. He just went right up to me. He's like, uh. I guess I just gotta get another joystick. You see here? I don't get this. Again, it says fire arrow craft. Dude, I already got many fire arrows. Enough is enough. And that's her father, I think. Oh, no, wait. This is some other dude. Before it was her dad up there. That's her dad. Her daddy. Alright, where is this? Just because I'm shunned doesn't mean I won't pass through. Kind of feels like Witcher versus um, Witcher versus what am I looking for here? Witcher versus God of War versus uh, See, and then you do the manual save versus um what's the game i said before <laughs> shadows of mordor anyways let's get right to it guys so guys what do i think well the training part i absolutely hated it was very long i just couldn't stand it i couldn't wait till i was past it uh, again, because I'm not hearing anything, because uh, that's what happens when I film. I don't want to have that interference. I'd rather give it to you in two separate files. The game is absolutely stunning once you start getting into the gameplay. I always hated training, so, you know, to each their own. You guys might like it. I don't know. Uh, the game was just, to me, the you know, felt a lot like Shadows of Mordor versus, uh, you know, uh, God of War. I absolutely love this game. I think everybody that's going to pick this up is going to really uh, enjoy it. Uh, I just really like that stealthy. And also, you don't have to be stealthy if you get good at it with a, with a bow and arrow. And then I figured out you could hit uh, things with a, her spear weapon or whatnot. And then I got to play it a little bit more before I did this final say right here. And I got to tell you, I absolutely like this game. I think I give it a 9 out of 10. Now, the reason I don't give it a 10 out of 10, uh, again... Could be me nitpicking here a little bit, uh, but the reason is because at times I felt that, and as I was playing it even deeper, I felt that, um, you know, I thought it was something wrong with my button, uh, that it wasn't working or whatnot, but it's not. It's sometimes when they have some kind of interaction with the woods or something like that, it kind of slows it down, and then you don't run anymore, and then you run, and then you don't run, and then you run. Uh, I also felt that everything's a million miles away, just like, uh, uh, you know, uh, Shadows of Mordor. Uh, with Shadows of Mordor, at least what happened is people complained about the first game, then the next game or whatever that came out he had this power where he can like super run and that was good because i really am not into that slow pace 
let's just run but really walk kind of nonsense. But uh, again, the game is really good and to each their own, you guys might like it. I absolutely love this game. I definitely recommend it to anybody who, uh, you know, who was waiting for this game or even never played this game before or played this game to be able to play it on 4K. I'm telling you, it's definitely worth it uh, if you have the, uh, you know, the um, power on your computer to do that. Uh, this game is a lot of fun. I, I can't put it down. In fact, right after this review, I'm going to continue to play it. Uh, I do think that the game is better to be, even though I'm so used to playing with, you know, when you're playing with a mouse, it's easier to aim <coughs> with the joystick. Again, that's why I hate first person shooters on a, on a joystick. And, uh, you know, I played Doom Eternal and I still rather play Doom Eternal on, um, you know, on uh, the keyboard and mouse. Uh, and I can't, you know, some people like the joystick better. I'm just not I can't get the proper aim that I want, but I was playing with the joystick and it's fine. And to be honest, this game is made to be played with the joystick. So if you wanted to go with one or the other, I don't know. Uh, maybe you could do some kind of button combination with both, like I used to do with, I think it was Resident Evil 6. I had it like on the controller and on the mouse to get proper aiming when I'm like running after, uh, his, uh, you know, the, the monsters and stuff. Like I used to run away from them as I'm hitting them. So um, you probably could do the same thing, but the game is absolutely stunning. The, the story is amazing. Why it's not out for Nintendo Switch really ticks me off. Uh, but then again, it's a Sony product. Uh, I do wish that they could, uh, Nintendo could come out with some kind of game that's about, you know, just like that. I think it'd be really cool to take on Portable. I really think this game is really good for portable play, especially right now. Uh, and I can't tell you how I thank you guys enough for making this recommendation and telling me to make a review on this. Because I didn't even know this was coming out for the PC until you guys were alerting me about that. And I was waiting for it. I pre-ordered it and boom. Hope you guys like this. As always, this is the independent channel. We're, we don't get paid here to tell you something's good when it's not. That's why you get the absolute truth on this channel. Because this is the people's channel. We all have input here. And down in the comments below, which I call forum section, that's the best way you guys could give back by commenting. Let me know what you think of this game, if you got it, if you're going to get it. What you just saw right now on 4K uh, displayed for you so you guys could see how it looks on the computer, how well it plays. Uh, do you, uh, are you going to get this game? What do you think of this game from that? Um, all of that. I want to hear that. And uh, I thank you guys again for offering me Patreon services. But again, I'm going to say this. Uh, I thank you and love you for it. I work three jobs to make this happen, and I and I love you for offering it, but I got this. I'd rather you guys save up that money. Right now, we're living in uncertain times. I'd rather you save that money for your families, for yourself. Buy the stuff we review with it, and together, we can give back to the community. That was the reason why I opened this channel. So, you know, all these paid-for reviewers would be sifted out, and we, the people, could give the people, the, the you know, uh, to make better informed decisions, real information. And that's the whole point about this channel. And that's why we do technology reviews, how-to uh, videos, and I give away prizes and stuff like that because I want this community to grow because I want people to not have to sift through much, so much stuff to get to the truth. So they could come straight here, get it from us right away. You guys can agree with me. You guys can disagree with me. That's the whole point. It's a beautiful thing. And we can help the community at large make better informed decisions, getting real information from real people like you and I. This is our channel, baby. So as always, like, subscribe, hit that bell button. I know some of you guys hit the bell button. You contacted uh, YouTube and they told you that um, uh, you weren't, being alerted of new videos because we're not a big enough channel. That's fine. We're going to see past that. I, we don't do any advertising here. You know, obviously, it's just word of mouth. Get the information out there. Share it with everybody you know. Make them part of the community. Let our community and family grow together. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button, comment, most important, and share. Let our community grow together. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it. And I want, to, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.